<clears throat> Hello, what is going on? I thought I'd stop in for some magical Monday reading for the collective. How's everybody doing out there? It is a beautiful day here in Florida. Serious beautiful. Oh, yesterday was so busy for me. I don't know about anybody else, but it was just so busy. And late night, I took some time for myself. I decided to paint my nails. I decided to do a face mask. And then I decided to take a long hot shower. And I feel wonderful. I slept like a baby. So do that self-care, everybody. Take care of yourself. You need it. We need it. The energy has been just sometimes draining and sometimes just exploding. You never know where the energy is going to go anymore. So this is going to be amazing reading. I did some meditation in the sun. I did some shuffling. I had some magic cards flying out. I had cards flying out everywhere. We've got some great messages for today. So here we go. So the first card that flew out is the number 11, is master number, and it's heaven, earth. It's an earth card. That is a beautiful card. That is just amazing. And I will do a little bit of the reading on what they feel the card is, and then I'll discuss my energy feeling on the card. The 11 of Earth is a balancing and a realignment card. It suggests it is now time to keep yourself centered and in harmony with the world around you by banishing the illusion of separation. You are a spiritual being, a soul living in a physical body. In order to experience and learn from life, you are here to learn from those experiences. In order to grow and evolve, it is important to integrate and ground your belief in a higher power or the intangible here on the physical plane. Now the spirit, the divine, dwells in all things of earth, sky, and water. Honoring spirit here on earth to be spiritual, spiritual does not necessarily require that you pray or follow a particular religious path. Spirituality is about connection. It is about taking a moment to watch a sunrise or sunset and to know you are at the center, that you are part of something larger than your own life. Now, I was just thinking before I did this reading, and I haven't really dove into these cards yet that I flew out of me today because I don't. I wait till I get you guys together and we all dive into it. But I was thinking of that. You know what? Are we all kind of walking around in this illusion that we haven't found our highest power yet of who we are? Have we stepped into it yet? Are we stepping into it? I think a lot of us are starting to step into that because we want to create the heaven on earth, the paradise. So we need to take a moment to watch everything, the sun rises, the sunsets, everything about life. I was just sitting here just before I started watching butterflies everywhere in the yard and the hummingbirds and nature. I love when my yard comes alive with nature. It means that I am connected with the earth. It is about believing in the mysterious, inexplicable, and unknowable. It is about nurturing and honoring your personal relationship with the land beneath your feet and the heavens above. Spiritual beings dwell in nature, experience life, and learn from experiences. That is a beautiful card. Now let me talk about the card. It's got the tree of life going through and the person in the tree of life with the green of the earth halfway on her face. She's blind. You know, most of these cards, they're blind, but they have their third eye intuition because I think what the, the blind is trying to say that the illusion of the outside, because people create everything around them. So you might be looking at somebody's creation and it's freaking you out, but that's, 
an illusion to you because that's their creation. That's not part of who you are. You can go back to your creation anytime you want to and create the beauty that you want. I think that's what that card is really saying. And it's also got the animals, all the animals, the wise owl. It's got the numerology. It's got the written documents. It's It's got money. It's got everything. It's, it's actually gold. It's not fiat, fake money. It's actually real money. And there it looks like a contract, a life contract there. Because we all had a contract with God, with our highest power, with source, with the all there is and all there ever was. We have a contract. Are we fulfilling our contract on this earth? That's what we have to question ourselves about. Are we taking care of us? And are we taking care of earth? And are we taking care of our surroundings? You know, I think that people, when they come into our lives, they teach us a lesson. I mean, you know, when you have those traumatic experiences, like that isn't your darkness. The way I was talking about a few of the, the Sundays, I think that, that dar their darkness teaches you a lesson. That's when you don't want to be like that. You don't want to go into the, that darkness. So you want the light. We, we want the light. We want the earth. We want the energy. We want the animals. We want it all. And this card is telling us that it, this is signaling it's time. I also pulled a clarifying card for that card and the card that I got clarify it was luck the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is just what it says it's luck we have all the luck we ever needed if we go within and we use our third eye our intuition as guidance instead of our ego and our thoughts and everything. It's not all about me, 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 me. But me has to take care of me. So there has to be a line where me has to come into the picture. So the luck. Ten of Pentacles. Appreciation, the special bonds you share as a group and love that comes with commitment. Good luck is coming and you celebrate a windfall or other unexpected financial bonuses. Appreciate the stability this brings. A family gathering is, is on the cards too. The unusual irritation disappear and you feel the love and support of relatives or close friends. You treat as family in relationships. The card predicts families being joined by love. Feelings are declared and commitment follows. This luck is not just about <clears throat> family gatherings and couples and this, this is the collective gathering because we are going to spiritually rise and we are going to change this earth we are going to do it this time with or without people i mean people can stay in whatever they want to stay in i don't advise it but that's that's their choices we all have a choice the next card that flew out, and I love this card. This card is the Eight of Water. Look at the energy, the hands, the solar, the, the, the crown, the chakras lit up like a Christmas tree, the dolphins, the water, the... It's not fire, but it looks like fire. It looks like fire in the water. It's just such a beautiful card. It's such a beautiful energy card. It's a positive state of appreciation, attitudes of gratitude, create a positive environment. Be prideful, not boastful. Cherish what you have. If you, have already, if you are already unhappy, more will not make you happier. Focus on all that is good in life. Question and unnecessary desire to move. You know, I'm getting that some people are in stagnation. Some people are in a holding place in their journey. And the only people, the only person that can stop that and stop the holding pattern is the person 
they have to make the choice. They have to go to that heaven on earth. They have to go into the block of the Ten of Pentacles. They have to connect with the energy, energy within them. They have to create this beauty. The Eight of Water symbolizes how a positive state of appreciation and gratitude can influence our lives and environment for a better heaven on earth. This, it is important to approach life with delight and joy, to take the, la to take the time to laugh at life and at yourself if need be. It might be unrealistic to hope to be happy all the time. But by taking the time to appreciate the people and the beauty around you and the abundance in our lives, we create moments when our happiness is deeper and more enduring. We create ease. I feel this so much this week. I have just been doing so much meditation and so much healing and so much creating my paradise and so much me time and looking at my surroundings of my life. And I think we all are. I think these cards for the collective are perfect in showing where we are. And I also asked for a clarifier for the uh, eight of water. And <laughs> uh, I got the hangman, the limbo. We've just been talking about the limbo. The hangman, when the hangman arrives in your reading, you cannot move forward stuck in limbo. You may be waiting for a decision to be made or generally feeling that some aspects of your life are on hold as a relationship project remaining static. This lack of control can leave you frustrated and you may decide to reach a compromise rather than hang around much longer. However, the hangman asked you to stay calm and think through your op opinions and your options rather than rush in and find an instant way out of the bind. This need not be time wasted at all. Waiting time, frustration, sacrifice, insight, purpose, and viewpoints. I see in a lot of my dreams where a lot of people are in limbo. They're they're hanging out for that person that's going to come, make everything better, and they're going to do it, and I'm just going to sit here, and I'm going to tell you all my problems, and I'll just let you help me. I'll just get this person to help me. I'll just put it off till tomorrow. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that in the collective that something's going on with some people where they're stagnant. It's time to get out of the limbo. It's time to get your energy flowing, your chakras flowing. And it's time for you to create this paradise, this heaven on earth. It's time for you, not me, not her, not him, you to create the heaven on earth because when you're not creating your heaven on earth you're making us all stuck in limbo with you because we can't all have the heaven on earth when there's somebody stuck in limbo so we all need to think about that i think there's a lot of um stagnation right now and i get it we've all been through a lot we've all been through a lot of psychological emotional trauma in the last few years not our fault brought on by weirdness and not good people but it's time for us to step back into our power and this reading is telling me for the collective it's time because the next one i got was the one of air the ace of air numero uno aces this is a beautiful card. The Ace of Air symbolizes a new way of thinking. It suggests that it is now time to let go of old, outdated beliefs and ideas that no longer serve and make way for a new, an independent form, personal ideology. It is time to unlearn and let go of ideas and opinions born of societal conditioning, inaccuracy, and false assumptions and replace them with ideas born of self-awareness, fact, and genuine knowledge. It is also time to recognize both of what they are 
and learn to differentiate between the two. Its appearance in your reading lets you know it is also time to honor personal truths and have foundations in your own experience instead of embracing the truth of others and making them your own. To do, to do otherwise is to wear an ill-fitted pair of shoes borrowed or stolen from others. While they may protect your feet, they will also pinch and rub and over time can do more harm than good. It is time to realize that to travel well and to go the distance, you need a pair of shoes that fit well because they are made for you especially. This is, this reading is amazing today because like I said, I had a really long day yesterday and I had a really amazing late night for myself. <laughs> I took the time for myself and I woke up feeling really good. And I think we all need to do that. We all really, really need to put the brakes on and think about what we're doing. And, you know, none of us are really pointing fingers at the people that are living in the darkness yet. I mean, I realize that they've been traumatized through their whole life. I realize that they have a lot of deep trauma. It doesn't mean they're a bad person. It just means that other people cannot handle the level that you are on. It, it is, uh, it's traumatic. And I know that a lot of us, when we're not used to something like that, we have to see that because it has to traumatize us to realize that people are living like that and people are making excuses and just floating along the scene and not doing what they need to do. And it's really time to step out of the limbo and start creating our heaven on earth. It's choice and you have the choice and you have the power. You have the power within, the energy within. You don't have to wait for somebody else. You have all the knowledge. You can remember. Just got to do the work. The one, the card that I received for the uh, Ace of Air, a clarifier, was the four, the King of the Ocean order. The king of the ocean is a symbol of order. So if chaos has ruled recently, know that order and balance will soon be restored. If any boundaries have been crossed, you will be able to re reassert your territory. And for the reason, he reveals an end to disputes. I'm telling you this, we are coming to a time in this world where we have been under a psychological conflict with all of us for the last three, over three years. We have all been put to the ringer on how we react to things and how we are living. And I think all of us have seen hell. We've witnessed it. We've seen heaven. We've witnessed on earth, I'm talking on earth, we've seen it all. But I think now is time to bring the order. Now is time to pull in the reins and say enough is enough. I'm gonna bring the energy back into myself. I am gonna work on myself and I am gonna bring the energy back in because we have to. We can't, this, this is what kills me. We can't make anybody else do anything they don't wanna do because it's all choice. And we can't do everything for everybody else because it's their learning lesson. It's their lesson in life. It's what makes, it's what's gonna either break them or make them. And we can give guidance all we want, thinking that we're helping somebody or something. And that doesn't mean it's gonna happen because it's their choice to take the reins and ride it out whichever way they're going to do it. I mean, they can either step into this, their power, their energy, their chakras, their alignment, their balance, or they can stay in limbo. 
and they can stay chaotic and get the order back in. You know, I mean, this is the time. We have it all. The heaven on earth. The luck. I mean, we're we are gonna see it. This was a great, I mean, literally great reading. I, I needed to hear this reading today, let alone, I'm sure, a lot of other people. And to top it off, it gets better. I so I had a soul oracle pop out and i have not got this one yet we haven't got this as a collective yet and this is <laughs> this is like i mean i couldn't there's no coincidence you can't pick a better card for today it's a number seven it says release your creative energies make use of them in your life that is her out in nature that is her connected to her soul life that is her playing the harp the vibrational frequency of healing music sitting in the light and she is looking at you she's got flowers in her hair she's not looking away she's not looking forward she's not looking behind she is looking at you. She is trying to get your attention. She has the light behind her, the flowers around her, the music in her soul. She's playing that harp and she's trying to get your energies going with the healing of the harp. This is a beautiful card. So let's read this card. And, and it's Magical Monday. I mean, what could be better? It's going to be, I can feel it. This is going to be a magical reading. I, I could just feel it. Okay. Release your inner creative energy. Make use of them in your life. There is a magical flow of creativity in all of us. It is unique and feels different for each individual. How these energies express themselves varies from person to person and from situation to situation. As children, we simply surrender ourselves to these creative energies and feel the joy they bring us. But they also bring inner peace, balance, and concentration, helping us to forget about time and to be in the moment. Remember your childhood and the games you used to play. You were so in touch with the imaginative side of your character. Do not use your creative powers in the hope of achieving recognition and fame since they will simply flow away from you and in others instead. The reason you have drawn this card is to help you release your creativity and to use these energies for yourself. Represent them will only lead to their gathering and manifesting as blockages in your energy system, make you feel at odds with the world and disconnect. Creative energies need to flow so give them room to do so and make the most of them. Dance, paint, sing. Do not waste this gift. It will inspire and raise you to levels of which others can only dare to dream. Devote yourself entirely to your creative. In such moments, you can be very close to the divine source and feel its eternal love with you. Whatever kind of work you do, find some time to be creative now. This is of great importance for your soul path and will bring you healing and peace. Now, the hel your helpers for the next 21 days is the power animal is the hawk. The herbal essence is grapefruit. Healing crystal is the cat's eye or red tiger eye. And the number is seven. Wow. Does that not tie this reading in? God. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Okay, now let's read the number seven. Indic this number seven indicates that you should only trust the magic of your heart. You will be given the gift of light that makes a deep connection between you and the mysteries of your life. Over the next few days, fill your soul path with love, everything and everyone, and you will become the magic of your heart. The energy field of number seven is like a gateway of light. It is death, birth, magic, light, and completion of a stage in life. Number seven brings new soul paths. Wow. 
I love that car. Seriously. I mean, wow. Yeah, just wow. Well, people, <laughs> let's do a really quick recap. We want to create our heaven on earth, our paradise. And we want to all become one with nature and life. We have the luck. We have the luck behind us. Because we have the heart space within us. And we have the magic. We have the energy. We have it. Just got to reach out for it. Don't be in limbo. Don't be the hangman. Limbo. Don't don't be that. Flow with the air. Bring the order back in your life. And release your creative energies. So guess what I'm gonna do now, guys? I'm gonna go out and take some pictures and create my own uh, beautiful energies today. It's a beautiful day. And I'm going to go out and enjoy it. And I think you all should too. You should make Magical Monday just, just, just as it is. Just magical. And you know what? I love you all. And may every step in your journey be magical. Guess what? Be you.